We're here at the Muses Parade, and I'm here with the Walter L. Cohen Band Director and Assistant Band Director. Go ahead and introduce yourself, fella. My name is Ricardo Emilian, Director of Bands, Cohen College Prep. Okay. And my name is Jeff Hurd, Drum Instructor and Assistant Band Director. Okay. So I have a couple of questions for you guys. First of all, what is your band facts? How did you guys get involved with music? What schools did you attend, and how did you arrive at Walter L. Cohen in Central City, New Orleans? Well, I went to McMain, class of 2001, played trumpet. Uh, Crafted Jackson State 2001, section leader 02 to 06, uh, KK side Springer 02. Uh, then I came back to New Orleans, did my master's at Loyola University in trumpet performance. After I finished there, I got the job uh, right as the uh, administration was transitioning. This is my sixth year here. And you went to the boom? Yeah, Sonic. The boom. The boom. The boom. All right, and what's your band facts, brother? Tell us your journey. Uh, my journey started at uh, Samuel James Green, uh, started at a snare drummer. Then I went to John F. Kennedy uh, from 96 to 2000. The K? The K in the building, Sid was down. Uh, played snare drum, uh, was the section leader of the first All-Star band back in 2000. Uh, then I went to Jackson State and that's where I met Ricardo and we linked up. And uh, we just made great friends from there. And from then on, uh, he introduced the job to me as the drum instructor with him and ever since he's been there and I've been there with him too. The boom, the boom united you brothers, huh? Yeah. Alright, so how has been the director um, impacted your life? We know that so much um, leadership and so many different qualities that you have to give to these kids, so how has that impacted your life and the way you live day to day being such a leader at this program? Uh, it, makes you, it makes you not be a hypocrite. I mean, it always makes you practice what you preach. Uh, you can never let up, you know, work with a pup tough population of students in New Orleans who need a lot of support, musically, academically, behavior-wise, and so uh, it always keeps you on your goal, and so I mean, at the end of the day, like, once you're you lagging, I mean, then they start lagging, so uh, it just kind of pushes you to, 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 you know, do, do your best you can every day. Oh, man, it's just been a, a joy and a blessing, just being with young kids and teaching them, you know what I'm saying, leadership skills, discipline, and uh, it's impacting me as well because, you know, I have to set the example as being a leader and being the best as I can be so they can be the best as they can be. Have you ever dated a band mom before? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> What's funny? You. <laughs> have you ever dated a band mom before? A band mom? A band mother. Oh, hell no. Nah, I, I'm married. You married? Yeah. Is your wife, was your wife ever a band mom or? Nah. Okay. Not a mom yet. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. New way. New way. Gotcha. Well, congratulations, brother. Thank you. Whereas Hamp would like to extend a lot of congratulations to this brother on his nuptials. You hear me? Most historic battle you've ever witnessed, either as a director or as a student. Uh, being from New Orleans, I mean, I went to Jackson State where we obviously influenced from Southern Hill, uh, but probably my crab year at Jackson State, it was raining, we played uh, Southern in Jackson, uh, it, was, it was pretty epic, we battled during halftime because we didn't go on the field, that one stands out the most to me. What was the year? 2001, Crab 01, we played, that was the year Contagious came out. And you, brother, most epic battle you ever witnessed? Uh, I'm going to say my high school year, 98 at Kennedy, and St. Nog at Tad Gormley. That game was really packed, uh, and, and it was a really, really epic battle, man. You know, shouts out to the kid, 96 to 2000. You know what I'm saying? We really came through, and we smashed St. Nog. We have to definitely review that one, me being a St. Augustine graduate. <laughs> But I must say that St. Augustine always reaches its peak at Mardi Gras time. That's just my opinion. But look, thank you guys for being a guest on the show. I really appreciate it. And just in case y'all didn't know, I'll be marching with this school on tonight. It doesn't matter what school it is. I love the kids. I respect these programs. And I respect what these gentlemen are doing in the community. So y'all stay tuned.